Hi, my name is Catherine, and I had a double mastectomy, and then I had reconstruction surgery um, with Dr. Haddock. I had a really hard time deciding if I wanted to have a double mastectomy, so I have the BRAC1 uh, gene mutation, so I had a very high risk of getting breast cancer, and I am young. I was 30 years old at the time, and I didn't know if I even wanted to have a double mastectomy. But I will say having pictures online made it clear to me that if I did decide to do this, that my results after surgery would be good, that I would look natural, I could keep my nipples, um, and that was really important to me and helped me make my decision to have my mastectomy in the first place. So the first surgery was the double mastectomy, so they take out your natural breast tissue and then they put in the expander. It's kind of like a temporary implant and that's what kind of makes the pocket for your actual implant to go in later. So the second surgery I had, which was six months after the first, was the actual implant. So they took out my expander, put in the implant, and then they also did fat grafting. So they took fat from my legs and um, added it to, I, I, I believe it's like to create a more natural appearance, um, which was great because it also is essentially liposuction on my lower half, so um, that was great. <laughs> I kept my nipples, so my scars are very minimal. They're right above my nipple. They're tiny. You can't see them, um, and like if someone just like looked very quickly, you wouldn't even be able to tell, so I think they look great. <laughs> Do your research, um, talk to people who have had the surgery before, um, and ask your doctors a lot of questions. Know that you're, when you have the surgery, like to put yourself into the best hands that you can so that you go into it feeling um, at ease. I look great. I mean, now I look better than I did the way God made me, so I mean, no complaints. <laughs>